In this video today, we're going to take a look at the new amazing drum sampler instrument in Ableton Live 12.1. So the drum sampler is found in instruments and is just tucked under drum wrap. To load a sample, I'm going to go to this kick here, grab this kick, drag it in there. Now if I press play on this clip, you should hear the sample. So let's look at our essential sample playback controls here. We have start, which will push back the start of the sample, so I increase that. We have length, so that includes the playback length of the sample, which we can reduce. And then we have a gain, which will obviously increase the volume. Double click to return each one of those parameters back to their default position. Then we have an attack. Imagine that's like a fade into the start point. If I pull back the attack here, you should hear like a gradual volume fade. And that works in conjunction with the start. So if I pull back the start time here, it's the attack's going to start at the start. <laughs> Hold is essentially once attacks reach the top, how long is it going to stay at the maximum volume? When that runs out, it will then go into the decay section, which is essentially the off. And then we have a transpose. Everything always sounds better detuned, right? So if we take it down a couple of semitones, can you not? We have a sense detune, so that's like a fine tune. And then we have two modes, which is trigger, which essentially when we play a MIDI note in, it's going to play the sample. Gate, which essentially will only play the sample whilst the MIDI note is on. Gate works a lot better when you've got longer samples. Now, the really cool thing with this drum sampler is this effect section here, which has a, some really cool sound design and utility effects built in. This one basically does with almost like granular synthesis. It stretches the grains of the sample, giving it a delay and a glitchy sort of effect. Let's check that out. And you can see here, I have two controls called factor and grain, and I can control them both at the same time with this XY pad. We have a bunch of other ones in here. So we have loop, which will essentially loop the sample playback. You've got offset here, so that offsets the start and then the length of the loop. So if we put it right to the start and we have the decay here. So if you have a quick decay, this decay really works in conjunction with the effects section as well. So it's a really fun thing to play around with. Also the attack. You get some really cool rhythmic effects playing around with this attack and decay as well. We have a pitch envelope, which can add a little bit of extra attack to your kick drums and your samples. Turn it off and on here with this um, little button here. Great. We have punch, which acts like a transient designer, so you can really emphasize or dial back some of those initial transients. FM, which is going to add some frequency modulation to your samples. Amazing. Ring mod. So you get some of those distorted artifacts on top. Now, these two are really interesting. They're not as exciting as the other ones. You have a sub oscillator and a noise generator, which if you're sampling some other drums, you'll notice sometimes you lose some of that sub from the kick drum. You usually have to trigger something else, use audio to MIDI, get a sine wave, create another kick drum, blah. This is done straight in here. So we go like this, we have a mount and frequency. So check this out. Now we can increase that sub with the decay as well. So. Now it's done in frequency, which can be a bit frustrating if you don't know what frequencies or what notes. So if you look in the description below, I have a free PDF download. It essentially tells you what frequency makes what note. You can tune your decay on your kick drum to fit the key of your song. Now I really recommend you do this because it will make your song sound a lot, lot better. Click the link below and check that out. Also, we have a noise. So this will introduce noise. So this is great for adding a little bit of attack to your 808s or bringing out some of the dirt in your snare. Again, the decay works well on this. See how using this attack, hold and decay really helps you shape the sound of your sample and that effects layer on top. Next, that all goes into a filter section. So you have a high pass filter and you've got a times two slope 
and you have a low pass filter and a bell filter as well. When you select the bell filter, the dials change to the frequency, then the gain. Let's check out the high pass filter. Bring in some resonance. And we have volume. We have a pan, then we have velocity to volume. So how much is the velocity of the incoming MIDI notes going to affect the amplitude of the playback of the sample? Then we have a modulation section here. We have mod or slide. Slide is an MPE parameter that can be automated or controlled from the push three or any other MPE capable controller. And then you can assign it to any of these here. So let's look at this in action. I'm going to start by using a drum rack and I recommend you do this if you want to build up a drum kit. So drum rack first and then drag down the drum sampler. Once you've done that, what you can do is go here onto the pad and right click and put save as default pad. And that will bring up the drum sampler every time you drag in a sample. For example here, if I go and get this kick and I drag it into here, fantastic. Now, if I look for a snare, that'll do. And I drag it down, boom, it's straight in there. Let's get a hi-hat. And now let's hear that as a drum kit. Great, now let's add in some of these effects. So let's add in the sub oscillator to the kick. Tune it, there we go, bring in decay. Nice. Snare, let's add in a bit of noise. Well, that's quite good, a complete accident, but I like that. <laughs> Bring some of the noise to the hi-hat. That's okay. Nice. Although this is optimized for one hit drums, it works well with any melodic stabs you've got as well. Here we go. Cool, so it always sounds better if we detune it, right? Let's play around with the eight bit. Nice. So I hope that helps you get started with the new drum sampler instrument. If you'd like to learn more about Ableton Live 12.1's new features, check out this playlist here. Also, if you'd like to learn Ableton Live with me, I have a brand new course, link is in the description.